Hey there, hope all is well. I will talk about delegation pattern in this video and delegation pattern is about uh, one object communicating with another object. That's why it's under behavior design patterns. And you can think about it like if someone has a lot of words and um, he decided to delegate some of these tasks to uh, someone else as asking for help or stuff like that. So delegate is a helper object to provide data um, or perform a task rather than do the task itself. And basically, delegation pattern uh, consists of three parts. First one is um, uh, delegating object, and delegating object is objects that has a delegate, and the delegate is usually uh, held as a weak property to just avoid the retain cycle. And uh, the second part is protocol, which is delegate delegate uh, protocol, and uh, here it we define uh, the methods that may or should be um, implemented. And the third part in, is the delegate itself, which is the helper object that implements the delegate protocol. And usually we use this pattern to just to break up large classes. So um, to make a reusable component or um, or stuff like that and it's also it's a common uh, pattern used through Apple frameworks like um, in Apple frameworks we commonly use it um, this term of data source like UI table view data source and UI collection view data source and um, this two group delegate methods that provide data and also we uh, find some terms like um, UI table view delegate and UI uh, collection view delegate. And this is just to uh, group methods that receive data or events. Okay, so let's jump to um, a couple of examples. So now we will discuss the first example and it will be pretty simple. We have a view controller and um, also which is the delegate and we delegating object will represent by represented by language service and we will have also language loader and language loader this is protocol so let's go to the view controller and um, basically what i have here or what i've already implemented is embedded a, view, a table uh, view at uh, added uh, or set up as uh, a constraints and applies a uh, table view data source and that's it and here is the data as in v view control controller uh, itself and in normal or in real example this shouldn't be the case because this data comes from should be um, in the service or uh, if we follow MVP it should be in presenter or stuff like that. So um, we need a helper and um, to get this data or fetching this data. So let's follow the diagram. Let's add it here. And mainly what we want to uh, implement, we will fir first things we will define the protocol, which is language loader. Let's do it here. And we need in this protocol one method to display uh, the data or inform us if the um, data is fetched or stuff like that. So um, we will call it dit language loaded just array of a string and we might call it with total items so second step is 
to define the service. And this will be a simple class. And as it display here in the diagram that it will be weekly holds uh, uh, protocol, as I mentioned before, to avoid retain cycle. So it will be week for language order of type language order. It's called a speech languages. And if we just get the array from here and add it here and just make lo language loader dot the language loader with this items. count. So here we define the protocol, we define some delegating object which is language service. The next step we will need to, um, we will get rid of this, just some, we don't need this anymore. We will define here the service and in view that load we need to call Fetch languages. So language service dot fetch languages. And also we need to implement this protocol, right? And by implementing language loader, we should um, have this method. If we define the items like only empty array, and here we can define that solve dot items equal item. Let's call it items. run and let's see what will happen okay well first we need to um make language service dot language loader equal solve to just um, make sure that or inform that the delegates that we will implement this um, method right so let's try again And yeah, now we receive the data and these items, it's not existing um, anymore in the vcontrol itself. It's um, being transformed or delegate to the language service. Well, so this is the first. Second example is when we follow MVP, uh, for example, to just um, communicate view controller with presenter so we will need in this case a couple of uh, of protocols one for presenter and one uh, for controller to displaying uh, the items and one for um, getting the data or getting the data uh, from endpoints or database so let's first define the protocols we will have uh, we will have here a couple of um, protocols and here we will have function to just display we need here a function to display the data right so with array of a string with total items 
of type integer. Second one this will be a language presentable. And here let's um, call the function when the view that load. This is a view controller with the data packed uh, to the view control and for sure we don't need this happen. So um, the first things we will define here, the language presentable because the view controller will weakly hold this, this protocol. So, Let's do it like, and also the view controller will need to implement the language displayable. So let's add extension here. And this will, instead of this data, it will be array for strings. Let's implement the function here and self.items will be items. Well, so we defined the language uh, list view controller. We need to um, define the, uh, the presenter. So let's define it here. It will be in this example, a simple class as well. And here we will weekly um, hold the language displayable. So and we need to unplug it um, in the initializer. And let's call a function or define a function to fetch the data. It will be the same data here. Let's copy it from here. Then we will add to dot display sys items. Also for the presenter, we need to implement some uh, presentable protocol. So we can add extension here for language presenter and in view that load we need to call fetch languages okay so we add all this stuff so let's go to scene delegate and we don't want to initialize or instantiate so we control it from the story part. We need to instantiate it with the code. So go through, go to a scene delegate, and what we need to do is we will define the window. We will define some view controller. We will need to define the presenter. And here we will need to um, pass some uh, language dis display, which is the view controller. And also, we need to set the language present presentable to this presenter.
then set this the root view controller to be languages view controller Final step when to dot make key and visible. So let's run and see the result. And this didn't display actually because we we need to call the view that load here. So we will uh, call the view dot load here, and let's try again. And yeah, now the data is displayed. So. Um, if you have any feedback, please let me know. And um, that's all for this video. Have an awesome day and thanks for watching.